Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you five alternatives to Telvin UI. Telvin UI is a pre-built component that you can use, UI component that you can use with any Telvin CSS uh, projects. And it does not have a lot of free components, so you have to purchase the premium version. But in this video, I'll show you some of the alternative. Five alternative websites that give you almost similar, not the same, uh, UI components and you can use them in your projects. So let's dive deep and see how are those components here. Here in my screen, if I check out uh, the Tailwind UI, I have already purchased this one, but it is, I don't know, let me just check out like what is the, what was the price for this one. I have to open it in incognito. So If I go to Telvin UI in the pricing page, you can notice like pricing and FAQ. Now they are also releasing the e-commerce version soon, but that version will be sold separately. For in, in here, if you want to buy the application, which is 199 AUD, I plus like including the GST, the plus GST, which is another tax. But in total, you have to pay like 300 and 29 Australian dollar to purchase this one. It also give you the React view and HTML version. But in this video, let's check out some of the free versions and how we can find and use them in your projects. So these are nice components, you can use them. But here are some other one I will show you. This one is like weak, weak blocks, something like that. Uh, they offer the same design and components. So if I check out, it is almost identical. If you check out the pricing, let's say for example, these are the simple pricing. They also have pro templates. You can buy it at $69. Uh, they have a lot of templates that you can buy, but it is much cheaper. The only difference is like uh, this or this one do not have any uh, pre-built code for Vue.js and pre-built like component for React and Vue.js. So you have to figure out that yourself. Uh, if I check out like it, they have 12 blocks on pricing let's check out these left headers like this or nice except they don't have the image and you can check out more examples so they are under the MIT license you can use them in your project anytime you want and it is totally free and that's it like one of the best one here so it will go from one to the five version so the fifth one will not be as good as this one the second one is this kitwind and this is nice but it, it is not as like it, they do not have as much component as the first one so you can check out the free kit ui in here and if i click on the components in here they also have the configuration for telvin let's check out the header component which they have 21 of them now check it out these are really nice design like you can use them the good thing about this one is you will have access to the Vue.js version as well as the React version. So these are the React and Vue component, also HTML. And I know it does not have a lot of components, but it is really nice, like you can use them and it is much nicer. Some of them are like, because they use real images, they are much nicer than these web blocks. Um, so the third one is uh, this themes.dev they also they have only templates so some of them are free that you can use if you go to the free version of them um, i personally try to use all of them because it is just the component you copy it and you can use it anywhere you want for example this template is free so you can preview this one or you can even download it so let's check out now this is uh, the thing is like the pre version is png preview and when you resize it is going to show the responsive one but it is just changing the image if you want to have have a look at the code you have to get the html which you can download it for free and use it and i know it has a lot of nice like templates it's still they don't have a lot of them but it is good to know like they have some free templates that you can use and this is going to be the fourth one the fourth one is also nice they have a lot of nice components actually and you can scroll down through the tail blocks that CC and find out what are those blocks. The one that you use, you can also customize the color. If, for example, you like, let's say this red color, 
you can just customize it from here and when you copy the code you already have that color applied to your templates for example these ones these ones not as nice as tailwind i'm sure like if you use like before i purchased tailwind i was always thinking oh they, they are so nice like they are nice but when you copy the code they have written a lot of code you have to customize it for yourself some of these codes are really like extra i think and that makes me think of okay there was if there was a free version that would be much easier so uh this is going to be the fifth one like tailwind components they also have uh, the only thing about tailwind components is, like people submit these components so either it is good or bad they just check if it is nice or not they just approve it some of them are not really good so you have to find out search they have a lot of them because people submit it but you have to find the one that suits you so that is the only thing you have to know about this tailwind component and last one this is the sixth one i said fourth one but this one is also nice they don't have much design but it is worth checking out for example this one is the navbar if you want to check the authentication that show you the login they haven't worked a lot on this like literally if you check out it is not a lot they didn't do a lot of work on this for example they are like simple design if you check the pricing very simple border but if you want to customize them add more like design into them that's fine but and these are just the inspiration design otherwise you can still go to tailwind ui and check the png version design it for yourself no one can stop you from doing that so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video